Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you Latch Preview Mode in Reaper. Now, Latch Preview is a new mode that's been added to Reaper, but it makes automating a lot more powerful. I have a track in front of us here with a drum beat and a piano part. Let's hear it. And it shows up in the song two more times. So before Latch Preview, if you wanted to automate this and get the perfect level for a piano and copy that level to the other times it shows up in the song, we would have done it this way. Create a volume envelope by hitting V, change your automation mode to something like touch or latch, grab our fader. I'm using a control surface, but if you don't have one, you can grab the fader here or here, but notice it'll move as I move mine. So to get the perfect level, I play the track. Then when I got to that perfect level, I hit pause. And then our fader would be at that level. And if I wanted to paste this to multiple spots, I would go to my actions, type in right in the filter. There's a bunch of actions here to do just that. Like this one is going to write to the end of the project using that level. Just did that. Let's undo it. Or this one will go to the start of the project, like this. Or the most powerful one is to select a section and choose this right here. Write current values for all writing envelopes to time selection. If we choose this, it writes the level we just paused at to this whole section. So then we can go over here to this section and do the same thing and this one. But that was before we had Latch Preview. Now in this video, I'm gonna use this action a lot. So I'm gonna add a keystroke to it. Hit Add. I'm gonna use Control W, but you could use anything you're not currently using. And now we could trigger that same action by hitting the keystroke. So now with Latch Preview, we don't have to do it that way. Let's undo all that. And this time we'll choose Latch Preview. And now with this chosen, see it shows up right here, Preview. I can move my fader before I hit play or afterwards, and it's not gonna affect the envelope. We hear the change, but it doesn't write any automation. So now we can do that same thing. We can find our perfect level for this section, Then hit stop, select a section we want to paste that level to, hit the keystroke, and it puts it right there. So I can zoom out to other sections and do the same thing. But now to hear it back, with this change happening, we have to switch back to another mode. It's not going to play this change. So we have to switch it to either latch or touch. Now that change happens in playback. So where this is really helpful is for doing spot automation. We don't have to write it and then replace it. Let me show you. Let's undo it. And let's say we wanted to automate each one of these piano notes separately. Using preview mode, we won't have to write automation first. So let's find a perfect level for this first note. Maybe a bit lower, even more. That feels pretty good. Then we can go up to it, select just this note, hit that keystroke, and that level is recorded. Now, if you notice, it transitions slowly from one level to another. We could change that in the automation preferences. If we're going here to automation, Right here is the transition time. If we change it to zero, and do that again, just select it, hit that keystroke, the transition time is zero. Or we can make it longer, but for the most part, 100 is pretty good. 
select it, hit the keystroke, and it's written. Now again, we're not gonna hear it played back unless we change the mode, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get the level for the next section. Maybe a little lower. And we're happy with that. Select this note, hit the keystroke, and now that level is recorded. Let's do the same thing for this one. A little bit louder. Select it, hit that keystroke, and that level is captured. And now to hear that back, we switch our modes, maybe touch mode, and it automates note by note, which is really helpful for automating vocals, guitar solos, or just about anything. We want to be really precise as you go. Now, this is also very powerful for automating plugins. Let's check out our drum beat. Let's say we put a filter on there. And we want to automate that filter on certain notes. Let's open it up. Here's the EQ. Let's say we're happy with this filter, but on the snare, we want the filter to be a bit lower. So we want to automate it. This is a lot easier to do in latch preview mode. We click on this parameter, go to this menu, and choose show track envelope. And that creates an envelope for this. So if we move it, it moves together. But we're going to start here, and instead of drawing it in, we can find it using preview mode. Just go here, switch this to latch preview. And now if we move this right here, the envelope stays the same, because it's not actually being recorded. So I can find the perfect level for that parameter on the snare. Maybe right there. Then we can zoom in on our snare and select it. Again, hit that keystroke, and it writes that change just for the snare. Again, we're not going to hear it by playing it back, because we're still in preview mode, but we'll hear it afterwards. Let's just set up all our snare hits. That should be enough. Now we can take it out of this mode. Let's go back to trim read. Now this is going to move. We're going to hear the difference on the snare hits. And just like that, we've automated our parameter for that EQ. And it was a lot easier to do using latch preview mode. So that's pretty much it. That's latch preview mode in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.